Hello everyone, I thought I'd take a look at this video here of a missile launch in Sevastopol. So some reports have said it's air defences, speculating as to what has been intercepted, the most common suggestion is a drone. Others have said it's calibre. However, I think it's Bastion P. Looking at this photo of an Onyx missile hired from a Bastion P, you can see that the launch trajectory is a match to the one in the video. Straight up, and then a sudden 90 degree turn. It's quite distinctive. I don't know of any other missile systems which fire this way. So the Bastion P is a mobile coastal defence missile system. It's intended to target ships and landing craft. They fire the Onyx missile, which is designed for the anti-shipping role. But Russia has confirmed it is using it to hit ground targets too. I have a geolocation for you. These were launched from here, a small military facility in Crimea. Google Maps lists it as a museum. So I'm not sure if it's recently been militarised for the war or if it's an active base with an on-site museum too. Those are quite um, common in Russia. Quite a few of the air bases do have on-site um, museums. Zoomed out, we can see that it's south of Sevastopol Harbour. So what can missiles from here hit? Let's take a look. So the Bastion P has a range of between 600 to 800 kilometers, depending on the variant. As we can see here, that allows it to hit most of Ukraine, Kyiv, Dnipro, Odessa, Kharkiv, all within range. So you have to think the Bastion P launch site is on Ukraine's radar as a possible target. But can Ukraine hit it? To Odessa, it is 292 kilometers. That puts it outside the range of most of Ukraine's platforms except for Neptune and Hrim 2. Attackums could hit it if Attackums does get sent. The best bet though is looking like a drone again from Odessa, which we have seen hit in Crimea before. Though that may be tricky. The smart thing for Russia to do would be to wheel these out when and only when they are being used, rather than leaving them there all the time. So a drone mission would need to know just when these are going to be out in the open. So I think hitting one with a drone from Odessa would be tricky. Even moving the launch position to Snake Island, it's 262 kilometers, quite a distance. I would say the best bet to hit these would be a Neptune launcher on Snake Island to cut the flight time, but would that be worth the risk of exposing the Neptunes? Plus, I think the term Russian ships would be a higher priority for the Neptune if needs be, as they are the ones launching the caliber missiles which are doing a lot of the damage. So even though the launch site is geolocated, these are fairly safe given the distance. Of course, what may change that if it's, if it's true that there are operatives in Crimea itself, and given some of the attacks we've seen, it is likely. It's long been suggested that it was um, operatives with drones who carried out the Novo Fedorivka attack and a few others which we've seen on Crimea, launching drones from in Crimea itself to hit targets. And if that is the case, these Bastion Ps would make a pretty good target as well. You'd have to think Ukraine would love to get some of these out of the way. So that's it for this video. I thought it worth taking a look at just what exactly this was launched and where it was. If you enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.